Hi guys, so I'm starting off with my body shop primer just all over the places that I get super oily. I color correct with a really cheap creamy orange lipstick which has no pellicent or shimmer or any set of dimension to it. Then I tone it down with a peachy concealer just so my skin doesn't reflect that orange tone afterwards and but still maintain the correction under the cake. Concealing my blemishes, I highlight under my eyes with a LA Girl Corrector Concealer in yellow. I don't use this as a corrector, rather a full-on highlighter for the center of my face. It has out-of-the-world coverage and is super bright against my skin, so like, I love it. up the concealer with my beauty blender up against the sides of my nose until it's super super close to the bridge of my nose as a straight line. This will help reverse control your nose without even actually using a darker colour. Then I blend out all the yellow with the bum of the blender, that's what I like to call it. Heavily baking my face with a lot of Ben Nye banana powder, just packing it on wherever I had highlighted and leaving it there until the very end. This really helps control the oils in my T zone area and cheeks. The longer I leave it, I am, the more matte I stay during the day or night. And then I start setting the rest of my face with Max Studio Fix foundation powder in NC43. Here I'm using my all-time favourite eyebrow pencil in Hazel from Rimmel and the Dark Brown, my second favourite, but I start off with the Hazel from the beginning of my brows and I keep brushing it up until I reach the tail and um, that's where I fade it into the Dark Brown. So it's kind of like an ombre effect but not so obvious. I use the Hazel because this is such a cool toned brown and I have jet black hair and a warm toned skin so it just doesn't look nice if my eyebrows look really warmish brown. So I try to make it look greyish brown, if you know what I mean, um, just so it just stands out more and just looks nice and doesn't fade into my skin. Before you start doing eyeshadow, always make sure you put some setting powder, like pack it on under your eyes just so if any fall, fall off, if any eyeshadows fall off your eyelids, does that even make sense? They will land on the powder and you can just brush it away after. I just use my regular NYX bronzer on my eyeshadow just to give it, um, give the crease a little contour and I'm using the same powder to contour my nose. So I start with the tip, making my nose a bit shorter and that's where I work up from the tip upwards um, just to draw out the contour. I like to use a bit of a complementary creamy lipstick, complementary to the eyeshadow that I'll be using and that's because it acts as a liquid kind of base primer where the eyeshadow really sticks on and if the eyeshadow doesn't have that much pigment, it doesn't matter because the lipstick has, um, has a pigment that your eyeshadow can't make up for. Plus is always a good way to make your eyeshadow intensify like 10 times and just to make all the glitters pop that your eyeshadow may have. Uh, 
I'm literally using just my Stiller palette. It's really my favorite palette. It's got matte colors, all nude, um, shimmery colors. Just it's my go-to. blending out my shadows with the nude colors that are closer to my skin color and I'm just now smoking it out with the darker colors starting from my lash line and working my way up into a cat line kind of form This is literally the best eyeliner ever. It's Inglot gel liner and I always, always use it with my Inglot Duralin liquid which just makes the gel liner just so creamy and so waterproof. This works with mascaras as well, just makes any dried up makeup alive again. using the Stila palette to highlight my brow bone and I'm using it with Fix Plus just so it pops up more. Using my NYX bronzer just to intensify the depth of the hollows of my cheekbones. Now I absolutely hate when the contour blush and highlight looks like those three flavour ice cream tubs that you get, um, like vanilla, strawberry, chocolate, no I don't like those lines. So what I do is I take the contour up to the temple so it doesn't look like a straight line, then I start off with my highlight at the top of my cheeks and that's where I put the blusher in the middle of those two and just blend it in circular motion just so the highlight and the contour and the blusher just mixes all together so it looks all blended I finish off with my MAC finishing powder which has a bit of a shimmer to it and um, a bit of pigment to it so finishing off with this just gives the whole face a blended look and just gives an overall tone without taking any dimension away from your face and then I spray my face with Fix Plus. This is because while the face is still wet, I put the highlighter on and that's when the highlighter really, really pops because the liquid drops just picks up on the pigment so well on the highlight. I don't know what it is, but look at that. It just pops so much more than when it's just in powder form. the gel liner on my waterline and mascara on I go in with my MAC lip liner which is sore and I just overline you need to get that powder on so like don't be shy overline as long as it doesn't look too crazy you know it just doesn't go actually over your line just stay on the line but a bit over if you know what I mean and then I fill it in with Primark matte lip crayon in L brown it's like the best don't be fooled because it's Primark but yeah try it don't hate on it anyways I hope you enjoyed the look and all the information is down below see you next time